Hey YouTube, this is Justin Bartlow, Oil Paintings, coming back with another interesting episode of Animal Art. Today I'd like to share with you this painting here. It's called Lounging Rooster with no mask. And he's sitting in a lounge with no mask on. Uh, just poking a little bit of fun at, uh, you know, the current situation. Um, that we know right now that's happening uh, with everything going on. I don't have to get too specific. I think everybody knows the strange times that we're living in. Anyway, this is a painting of a rooster seated in a restaurant or lounge or clubs, you know, setting. Oil on canvas, 18 by 24. It's kind of whimsical. And let me just now share with you the inspiration or the reference that I got or idea I got for this painting. This is uh, from a New York Times fashion magazine or weekly culture arts magazine, New York Times. And this is just a fashion model from a um, Let's see where it's from. From Lafayette 148, New York. It must be some high end fashion clothing store designer. Anyway, you can see the reference photo there, the model. Use that to um, use the proportions and the color scheme. And she was definitely a reference there. And for the rooster head, you can see that right there distinctive bright colors which I'll be talking about uh, the color scheme and color palette in a minute. The reference for the rooster head came from this rooster jug ceramic and the designer was Chuck Williams the founder of Williams Sonoma the uh, high-end kitchen store supply store based on a Brewster jug that he saw in a cafe in Rome uh, many years ago, I think in the 1950s or 1960s. So he modeled this Brewster jug on that original jug that he saw at this cafe in Rome, I believe. Anyway, that, that was the uh, example of the Brewster jug that I used for the head of the uh, rooster. In this painting, um, you know, this painting really, I think, evokes a style of probably the post-impressionist painter Van Gogh. Everybody has heard of Van Gogh. I usually don't like to talk about painting artists that maybe I was related to, because I think that's difficult to do. There's so many influences and schools but I think, I think I got kind of some ideas um, from Van Gogh as far as the colors. And I, you can't really see this here, but the brush strokes are really thick. The paint application is really thick. And it's just a really direct style. Um, that's one thing that Van Gogh, of course, was known for was his direct style. So I think I've got some of those elements that Van Gogh um, used, I think, in some of his paintings. And let me also just share with you now, uh, let me get this pulled up here, share with you some of the materials that I used and some of the process I used. Now this here, pull this up on my iPad, this is the example, um, this is the composition that I did for this painting, and this is done in burnt umber acrylic charcoal sketch and then burnt umber acrylic and that's the underpainting that's the composition that I used um, before applying the paint the oil paint so you can see that there real direct composition got the charcoal sketch and then the again the burnt umber acrylic outline. 
before applying the oil. That's a basic um, process that I use for most of my paintings. And now let me just share with you briefly some of the distinctive colors that were highlighted in this painting process. Um, you can see the yellow there, the bright yellow, that's cadmium yellow. That was the rooster's face. And then I've got a lead tin yellow light or brilliant yellow. That was a lot of the seating, neutral yellow seating, and then of course black. Did a lot of highlighting and then the scarlet red for the rooster's head and then a lot of Van Dyke brown mixed with uh, Crimson Lake. Not mentioning the Crimson Lake. Uh, um, well, I am mentioning it, but I don't see it here on display, but that was featured. The Crimson Lake, of course, is featured the purple. That's the purple blazer pants, that suit that he's wearing. So guys, uh, again, this painting is lounging rooster with no mask seated and it's 18 by 24 canvas and this is just a interesting painting I think it's very whimsical and again it kind of harkens back to I think some of the style and uh, composition and direct approach that uh, Van Gogh used in a lot of paintings he did of uh, various people so guys I hope this is helpful and uh, look forward to another episode Thanks, guys.